Amen. 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 All right. All right. Well, uh, we, we're getting ready to uh, receive our offering. Uh, if you need an envelope here at Ark of Jesus, we use an envelope system. And uh, if you would like an envelope, you can just signify with the elevation of your hand. Uh, members and or guests, and our usher will attend to your your need. Um, if you're a guest, you're not obligated to give and be persuaded in your own heart and mind about that. Uh, to our for Jesus Ministries, we know that it's the will of the Father for us to bring our time and our offerings, and um, so we're going to do that now. Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. Yes, Amen? Yes, 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 yes. Amen. So I trust that we're all uh, cheerful today. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Um, at this time, we're going to ask our ushers to come. Hallelujah. The Bible says more blessed to give than to receive. And uh, whenever we are sowing, whenever we are giving, we're really just sowing seeds. And God has ordained it. He set some principles in order. They, they operate throughout uh, the universe. And one of the principles is that the seed always produces larger than itself. Yes. So it doesn't matter what kind of seed you get. The Bible talks about the uh, mustard seed being one of the smallest seeds in the herb family, but it also causes the largest tree to grow. Yes, yes. And so the fruit out of that seed is larger than the seed it came out of. Amen. We don't want to miss that principle and find it because when we sow into the kingdom, God says, I'm going to restore to you more than you did. Amen. 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 And in that the Lord would save us, listen, yes. I don't care how much we give, we couldn't pay him. Hello, somebody. We couldn't pay enough for the price that was paid for our salvation. So, uh, if you have your offering, your tithe, your offering, I'm going to ask you now, if you would, to rest upon your feet. We're going to make a faith confession. The Bible tells us that there's power in our tongue. Amen. Amen. It declares that life and death are there. And that a man's belly shall be filled with the fruit from his lips. So our lips cause our belly to be filled. In fact, there's a saying among men is that a, a shut mouth don't get fed. Huh. Hello? I mean, Amen. Know so. If your mouth calls that you can't, nobody can't feed you. Amen. And, and, and we need to open our mouths and speak in agreement with God's word that we may have what God's word says we can have. Amen. Amen. All right. You have your time and offer. Let's just lift them up before the Lord. Say so today I cheerfully. Today I cheerfully. Joyfully. Joyfully. And obediently. And obediently. Bring my time. Bring my time. My offering, offering. And my sacrificial gift. And my sacrificial gift. I sow into the kingdom. I sow into the kingdom. I understand. I understand. Ark of Jesus ministry. Ark of Jesus ministry. Is good ground. It's good ground. I declare. I declare. My seed produces. My seed produces. Good fruit. Good fruit. Abundant fruit. Abundant. And remaining fruit. To my account. Therefore, Therefore, my church is blessed. My church is blessed. My house is blessed. My, my health is blessed. Health and what I set my hands to is blessed. Is blessed. I declare it so declare in, it Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time to bring your offering. Everybody thank the Lord for your blessing. When you give the well.
You uh, sense that and die more you believe that. God is going to have these in my sins. And blessings are manifesting now on my behalf. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. That's what I believe. Therefore, that's what I declare. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have our... Uh, oh, oh, pardon me. Thank you. Uh, if you are one of those precious people that don't particularly like carrying cash, or maybe you just don't have cash, not a problem. The Lord knew that you existed. And so he has given us the ability, if you have Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, uh, we can work with you. You can still be able to get your seed in good ground. Amen? Amen. So uh, if that's you, the ushers will attend to your need. You can just raise your hand. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. All right. Um, at this time, we're going to prepare to uh, hear from our choir. Amen. 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 It's, our, it's our children's choir. Wonderful. And so let's put our hands together Woo! and give God praise to them. Woo! And let's put in the hands of Sister Melissa Adam. Oh my All right, guys. Amen. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I'll bring it out. I don't know. Love, guys. Love, love, love. <laughs> Wonderful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah.
nice and quiet. Come on, let's give him another hand. As long as Jesus is alive, there is hope. And part of the blessed hope is that the scripture says here, die never to die again. Amen. He lives forevermore, making intercession for us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we appreciate the Lord today for our young people, Amen. for uh, those who are working with us. Oh, yes. I, I, I want us to just take a, a little moment here. And let's give God praise for the parents and for those Amen. who are working with the church. It'll take something for the parents to get the children ready. The children don't come by themselves. Somebody has to bring them. Somebody has to take up time. We're on today. We're going to, this is part four of a series that um, started entitled personal, purposeful prayer produces. Amen. Personal, purposeful prayer produces. Now, some of us already know that in Ark of Jesus, uh, on our logo, it says Ark of Jesus Ministries, people of prayer, praise, purpose, and power. That we ought to be people who pray. Amen? Amen. We understand that the greater moves of God comes through the heels of prayer. Amen. 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 It Amen. comes through the heels of prayer. And so, um, if we want to, to see the greater uh, purpose of God manifest, then we ought to be praying people. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Um, now, now, I have a few questions for you this morning before we get into the Word. And, uh, one of the questions that, that I have is uh, how many of you believe that God actually spoke through Bible personalities, that God really did speak through people in the Scripture? I mean, amen. 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 All right. Well, praise the Lord. I have another question. Or that God used and worked through his anointed. How many believe that? Amen. God Amen. And worked through his anointed. Amen. Oh, Amen. Okay, okay. Now my last question, at least for now, is how many believe that God uses me and speaks through me? Amen. 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 All right. Amen. All right. All right. Yes, I'm going somewhere. Look at your neighbor. Say he's going somewhere. He's going somewhere. <laughs> Now, now, I believe and I submit most everybody in here, if not everybody, have prayed some prayers wishing that we got answers to our prayers and we never seen them have gotten the answer to our prayer. Anybody? Yes, anybody? yes, if yes. If you got all your prayers answered, then well, praise the Lord. That's, <laughs> that, that's not my story. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay? And um, there are principles that God ordained in his word that apply to anybody who applies the principle. God is not a respecter of persons. So what he does for one in principle, he must do for another. I'm glad that he's not a respecter of person and the one who has the most money is the one who gets blessed. <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. So gave the most money gets blessed. Hallelujah. I'm glad it's not predicated on how you look. So the prettiest folk got blessed. Thank you, blessed. thank you. And the rest just wanted to be blessed. Jesus. I'm glad that it wasn't based on the shortest people got blessed and the tall people were left out. Jesus. Right. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. Or, the, you know, the people that are more well endowed got blessed and the skinny folk didn't get one. All right. Amen. I'm glad it's not on any of that. God has principles in place that it doesn't matter if you're short or tall, rich or poor, or black or white Amen. or any other Amen. there. If you operate the principle, then you get what the principle produces. Hallelujah. Are you with me so far? Amen. Yes, Case in point. Let's say you have a person who loves Jesus or one who doesn't. 
or you have one who does and one who doesn't. One doesn't even believe in God. The other believes that everything is connected to God in one way or the other. Let's say both of them have some good seeds. And they both want a crop. And they both sow their seed in good crop. And they do and, and follow uh, agricultural laws, meaning they water it and that kind of thing. How many know today that the person who does not know God or love God will still get a good crop? Amen. 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 As well as the person who knows God and loves God, they also get a good crop. Amen. So it really had nothing to do with what they believed in terms of their allegiance to God or absence of allegiance. It was the fact that they operated a principle that works for everybody who operates the principle. Are you with me? Amen. It's important for us to get clear on some things if we're going to maximize in what God wants us to do in the earth. If we're going to maximize in us being a conduit that he will work through to accomplish his perfect will in the earth. Amen. So now we're talking about, about, about us getting some prayers answered. Yes, yes. And some needs met. Anybody got any needs in here? Oh, yes. Anybody oh, Jesus. at all? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, yes. okay. For those of you that have needs, I want to let you know you're in a good spot. And I'll tell you why. Uh, because the Bible says, as God says, that he will supply all of our need yes. according to his riches and glory by yes. Christ Jesus. So all you need is a yes. need. Hello, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I got some of myself. Hello. Hey. Amen. So I'm in a good spot. I'm in a good, I'm in a good spot. You choose. So now, so now, I'm preaching now, y'all. Um... Glory. They try and that's what y'all pray for. Hallelujah. So now, so now, so now. Uh, we're in our prayer campaign 320. Amen. The prayer campaign 320 is that we're supposed to pick out three friends and pray for them for 20 days. Amen. 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 Now I've asked the church to do this. I don't want y'all to raise your hand because I don't want you to tell everybody else you didn't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Now, I already know some folk have not been faithful since last Sunday in praying for three friends every day. Jesus, Jesus. I already know that. But I'm just going to ask the question anyway. It's in the rhetorical what the form. Uh -huh. Meaning just for you to consider. How many of you have prayed for three friends <laughs> every day since last Sunday in five areas. The five areas were you were supposed to pray for them for wisdom. wisdom. You were supposed to pray for them for watchfulness. You were supposed to pray for them in the area of wealth. Yes. You were supposed to pray for them in the area of workers. Yes. And you were supposed to pray for them in the area of wealth. Yes. 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 Amen. Yeah. So we want God to give them wisdom. We want them to be watchful. The Bible says watch and pray that you enter not in temptation. So we want them to be watchful so they don't fall into the sin and transgression. Hello, somebody. We also want to pray for them to get wealth. The Bible says, remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives thee the power to get wealth. There in 3 John 1 or 3 John 2 it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. So we to be praying for somebody else's prosperity. How many people are prosperity? Amen. 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 Well, see, see, if we'll pray for somebody else's prosperity, there's a principle that God orchestrated, ordained, and operates that says, okay, what I make happen for others, God will make happen for me. Oh, God, help me in here today. You were supposed to pray for them for workers, that God send for folk, send for folk alongside them to help them do whatever their part is to do. Amen. And then you were supposed to pray for their wellness, that they be well in their bodies, they be healed or recovered. Hello, somebody. Anybody in here ever had an ache or pain? Huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many know deliverance is sweet? Amen. Praise God. We appreciate when, when we're not hurting. Amen? Amen. 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 So now, 
We want to do this later. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, we want to do this later. Hallelujah. All right. Jesus. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, so now, so now. Hallelujah, Jesus. The train, the train is coming back. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Uh, if we want to get our needs met, then we have to operate the principles God ordained to get them met. Yes, yes. So now in that the church is in the prayer three train campaign. Uh -huh. Everybody ought to be praying. Amen. 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 Everybody ought to have at least three people in your life that you may even call friends that you can pray for. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody. You yes. say, but uh, I, I really need somebody praying for me. Please understand, precious heart. When you are praying for somebody else, it's almost like you're praying for you. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to walk you down through scripture to show this to you. All right? And, and further, whenever we have our prayer revivals, which is always the first Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of every month, I'm telling you now, I'm looking for our Jesus to show up better. Yes. Now, guests are always invited and welcome. Arkham Jesus, we definitely need to be here. Yes, yes, We yes, want to yes. prioritize spending time yes. with God in prayer. Right. Yes. In fact, that ought to be a time when you run, when you just drop early, oh, prayer revival this week. Oh, well, I'll see y'all later. I don't care about the television show. It doesn't matter what others are doing. They going out to dinner. No, we want to spend some time with God in prayer. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. My God, yes. my God, my God. Yes. So. Yes. Because personal, purposeful prayer produces. produces. That's right. Amen. Amen. And so I trust that going throughout this week, this week, you prioritize starting today. You're going to pray for at least three people. Amen. For 20 days. Amen. Amen. You're going to pray for them for their what? Wisdom. Watchfulness. Wealth. Workers. And wellness. Amen. You want to cover them. You want to cover them. You may know somebody going through right now. That child may be what young folk call wilding out. Amen. I'm talking about when they have their dumb days. Yeah, yeah. We want to be praying for them. Uh -huh. Amen. You say, well, you know, I don't, I don't have any children. All my children are grown. I don't have a thing to do with it. Amen. Amen. You may have some grandchildren. Amen. You may have some other needs. Amen. When you pray about someone else's needs, then yes. God will take care of your needs. Yes, yes, yes. Tell yes. somebody. Yes. Amen. Amen. They don't have a vehicle. You pray about them. Get in a vehicle. Amen. But y'all need some help. Amen. Some folks just need help paying the bill for the one they got. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 Well, we're getting ready to go into the word on today. And I trust that, as I stated, you will be praying for someone this week, every day. And your biggest challenge, as I shared with you last week, your biggest challenge would be that it's not already a part of a habit for you. Anything that's a habit, you can do almost automatically. You just end up doing it. Yes. But when it's not a habit, it is easy not to do it. Yes. Don't and if we're going to be faithful here, you're going to have to purpose that I'm going to do it. Here's the key. Whenever the Holy Spirit brings it to your mind, do it then. Yes. I can tell you now, sometimes he's going to speak to you and remind you of it, and you're going to say, okay, I'm, I'll do that in just a minute. Let me just finish this. I'm telling you now that finishing it will knock that thing out of the, the lineup. How many have ever done that? You say, I'm going to, you know, Holy Spirit come to you, tell you to pray or call somebody. Or, you know, you Amen. have to do something. And you say, okay, I'm going to do it in a minute. I'm going to do it right after this. Right and then now. you end up, it's a whole new day. All Sometimes right. it's days later when you remember. Come on. That's right what we, right we need to follow him, the Holy Spirit. He always gets it right. He never gets it wrong. Amen? Right All right. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask you to turn to Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20. 
followed by Job 42 10. Ephesians 3 20, Job 42 10. I'm going to be reading from the King James Version. When you have it, I'm going to ask you to rest upon your feet. After you rest upon your feet, we'll make, uh, I will pray. After I pray, we'll make a faith confession. After the faith confession, I will read the word of the Lord in your hearing. Thereafter, you can feel free to have your seat in his presence. All right. Amen. Now, some might ask, well, why is why do people ask folks to stand for the reading of the word? I could hear just as good sitting down. <laughs> or I could read or follow along just as well sitting down. Well, it's standing in honor of the king of kings. Y'all know how when the judge comes to the courtroom, the yeah. bailiff says, all rise. Uh, Y'all know how when the bride comes to start walking in the procession for the marriage, they say, all rise. Uh, Those are just mere men and women. Uh, how much more? The sovereign of the ages. Amen. But we're coming to read his eternal word. That's right. Amen. All right. So at this time, let us pray. Father, we honor and thank you now for being such a great and gracious God. We thank you for this privilege, this opportunity, and such an a awesome experience as to be in the house of prayer one more time. I pray now, dear God, that you will word my lips for your glory. Hide me behind the cross that you might be seen, lifted up, honored, glorified, magnified, exalted, and worshipped. I pray now, dear God, that you will touch our lives in the way that we stand in the needs of a touch from you most. Yes. Cause our lives to conform to the image of Christ. Yes. That we may bring greater honor, glory, praise, and thanks to you for which you are so duly worthy. These things I ask you for and thank you for now believing that these things are so that your word now falls on good ground and germinates thereby in Jesus' name. And those in agreement said amen. 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 If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask you to hold them up with me. And repeat after me. Say, this is the word of God. This, this is, is the word, word of God. God. It is life. It is life to me. To me. And because of God's faithfulness. And because, because of God's, God's faithfulness. To his word. To, to his, his word. word. And my obedience. And my obedience. To him in faith. To him in faith. faith. I now walk in love. I now walk in love. And the blessing. And the blessing. Of abundant life. Of abundant life. While you're yet standing, I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. King James Version records this way now unto him that is able yes. to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think yes. according to the power that worketh in yes. us there in Job 42 10 again King James records it this way and the Lord turned the captivity of Job uh -huh. when he prayed for his friends. Uh -huh. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. If you will say with me our thought for this series, personal Personal, Personal, purposeful, purposeful, purposeful prayer, prayer, produces, produces. Come on, say it again. Personal, personal, purposeful, purposeful, prayer, prayer, produces, produces. Come on and give God a praise. Amen. You can put him at your seat in His presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Personal, purposeful prayer produces. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm uh, fully persuaded today that that God has. Uh, ordained that you and I should be able to get a prayer through. Amen. Amen. Uh, I, I, I can't help but believe and therefore I declare that God wants us to know how to get a prayer through. Yes, yes. If that's not enough, I declare most of us want to get a prayer through. Oh, yes. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yes. And so uh, in that, uh, today I want to talk about some realities concerning prayer and prayer that produces. All right. Now before I go there, uh, the scripture we read there in Ephesians 3.20 says, 
now to him that is able to do exceeding abundant yes. above all that we can ask for. Uh -huh. So we're talking about a God that it doesn't matter how mature, how advanced, how active our imagination is, our God can do more than that. Amen. Wow. All right. Amen. And the Bible says it is connected to a power that has to be active as it were in us. Amen. Somebody said if you can dream it, you can be it. All right. There are some folk they can't dream of themselves in a better place. All right. I hope I'm not talking about you today. All right, all right. I hope that you can begin to dream and see yourself in a better place than you are right now, even though the place you're in, you may be all right with it, but, but you know that there's more. I hope you can dream for more. All Come on, Bishop. Right. There are some folk, they, they have trouble dreaming beyond where they are. But if you're going to go beyond where you are, you're going to have to think beyond where you Hallelujah. are. Hallelujah. Hello, somebody. Yes. Yes. And, and, and so the word says, it's according to the power that's at work in us. What is that power that it's referring to? I believe part of that power it's referring to is the power of faith. Yes, 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 yes. You see, because faith is the currency of the kingdom. Right. Amen. 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 If you want to do business in the kingdom of God, you have to do it by faith. 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 You, you want to do business in the earth, you do it with collateral. You, uh -huh. you right now, you want some milk or you, you want to get a chicken wing somewhere? Hey Amen. You got to get that dumb man some money. All right, somebody. all right. You, you got to have some collateral. Are you hearing me today? Amen. You want to get a car off the lot? You got to have some cash. Yeah, but when it comes to the kingdom, you do that by faith. You got to have some faith. Yes. Yeah. When the woman with the issue of blood came to Jesus and touched the hem of his garment, and immediately she was cleansed of her issue. Uh -huh. She knowing something happened. Jesus knowing something yes. happened. Yes. says uh, to the disciples, who touched me? All right. And no doubt they're wondering, man, what are you talking about? All these people out here, <laughs> they touching all of us, and you saying, who touched you? <laughs> Come on, I mean, folks bumping up against each other. Yes, a lot of folk. Amen. He said, but I perceive the virtue is going out. In other words, everybody may be touching me, but they're not touching me the same. Hey. All right, all right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. And, 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 yes, and sir. so now the woman comes because now the cover is blown. It would have been all right if what the disciples said took precedence. But he said, hey, everybody touching you. She could have stayed high. Because yes, everybody was touching. But then, in a way, Jesus called her out. He said, because I perceive the virtue is yes. gone. She's the only one got healed. Yes, yes. Yes. He and don't tell us about anybody else that got healed touching his thing. So now she comes in and she owns up to it. And then he declares to her, your faith yes. has made you whole. Yes. Yes. Because yes. yes. faith will make you do things yes. that you would not ordinarily do. Oh, God. I, I wasn't hearing this way well initially, but I got to walk this a little bit. That's all Even right. You see, first off, that woman with the issue of blood understood that she wasn't really supposed to be out among people like that. Because when a woman had an issue in the Bible, the, the, the word of God refers to them as unclean. Amen. Uh -huh. They weren't supposed to be in the general population there. They were supposed to set themselves aside until they were done with their issue and then they come out. Well, this woman had an issue for 12 years. This woman had an issue that didn't light up month after month. Jesus. Oh, are you hearing me? This woman had compromised health and physical ability, stamina and strength because blood had gone out. And the Bible said the life is in the blood. Mm -mm -mm. So here she is in a compromised physical condition and she wants to be a whole Bible said she has spent all her money oh. and got none the better but she got worse. Right. Now she, oh God, I hope y'all read this today. Amen. Although she was in this compromised physical condition, now she's also lost all she had in trying to buy her health from all the doctors and those of the medical professionals of her day. And even though 
though she's already bent over, even though she doesn't have much strength, even though there's a crowd and she can't push nobody aside, she gets down, no doubt, on hands Jesus. and knees and crawls in the crowd because in my mind, this woman can picture another day. Let me tell you, you may be down right Jesus. now. You may be going through some difficulty right now. But Jesus. praise God, you can Woo. picture another day. Jesus. Jesus. I pray God you can picture another day. Even though it might have been long, it seems to me 12 years Jesus. is a long time. Yes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I, I, I trust that you can dare to believe God that with all that you have tried and nothing has worked yet, that you will not give up and know that surely there still must be a way. Hallelujah. There's a saying among men that says, wherever there's a will, there's, there's a, a way. A way. Yeah. And this woman, although no doubt she done tried every medication they had of her day. She done tried no doubt the best of the medical professionals of her day and in her area. No doubt she went to everybody who could pray that she know of. And none of them were able to help her get to her issue. She didn't give up. And I want to say to you today, it doesn't matter who you are or where you are in your life. It's not a time to give up. It's a time to look up. It's a time to rise up. And it's a time yeah. to Yeah, yeah, because sometimes if you aren't careful, the devil will try to beat you over your head with all of your failures, all of your faults, all of your shortcomings, all of the time that have transpired, all of the doubters, all of the mishaps. He'll try to beat you over your head, but I'm telling you today, it's time to climb out from under all of that and see glorious light in God. For the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. Yes, yes, yes. It is so. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. It is so. It is. It is. So scripture says uh, that it's according to the power that's at work in us. And then we read there uh, about Job in chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Bible said that God turned the captivity of Job. Yes, when, yes, yes, yes. Look at somebody said, when conditions are met, when, when conditions, conditions are, are met, met, manifestation takes place. Manifestation, manifestation takes, takes place. place. Job's situation was turned when yes. the Bible says pray. he prayed for his friend. When yes. Amen. Amen. Now, yes. theologians wow. said yes. that Job was in the suffering way for nine months. Uh -huh. I don't know about you, but in my sanctified imagination, All right. and when I couple that with my life experiences and learning. Yes. It seemed to me that Joel went through a thing uh -huh. that could have caused most folk to actually lose their mind. Yes. Yes. You see, because for one, Joel was a